A woman said to me recently, she was booking me for a seminar spot, and she said, Rob, explain to me how the theme of what you do fits in the context of business. So I reflexly started to give us some statistics. And you've probably heard that Australia loses in the order of $30 billion every year as a result of absenteeism and presenteeism. That's turning up and not being on top of our game. But then I said to her, I said, think about it for a minute. If we're there and we just don't feel well, or if we feel really crap, we are not going to do as well whatever it is that we do. If we're away getting our newly diagnosed condition looked after, we're not there as often. If we come to work each day after a big argument because we haven't got the work-life balance thing sorted out, we're not as focused. And whenever I speak on sales conferences, I always say that I have never ever met a salesperson deliver high quality after sales service when they're dead. So if an organisation depends on people, the well-being of those people is a fundamental consideration for that organisation to perform at its best. Recently, after a seminar, a guy came up to me and he said, Rob, I had a heap of fun in your session and the 75 minutes felt like it flew by in 15. Now, that was really nice. And certainly there'll be a lot of laughter and people will talk about this in the corridors afterwards. But the thing that really gives me a buzz about this game are the emails that come back from people who say that they are now living their lives differently. And that usually means they're doing the little stuff. Maybe it's something that they've picked up new out of the seminar, or often it's something that they've been going to do for ages, whether it's to do with work, relationships, or their health. They're now more balanced, they feel better about themselves, they're in better shape, and they're more effective. 